morning friends i hope you all are doing well as for me today i'm gonna have my hair colored after two years guys ipapakulay ko na yung buhok ko not that i don't like my hair color right now i think my hair is super healthy super happy with it but i just am craving change so good luck to me but anyway i wanted to do like a quick q a session no secrets tayo today i want to get real and raw with you guys last night nagtanong ako sa instagram tanongin nyo ako anything about life love and everything in between and i got so many questions so thank you so much sa mga nagtanong by the way this portion of the video is sponsored by palmolive micellar but more on these products later from Cassie Bell, something that you and Kuya Dave fight about. Actually, alam you guys, Dave and I don't fight na ngayon. Knock on wood! Knock on wood! Pero, di na kami masyara nag-aaway. In fairness sa amin both, parang gets na namin yung ugali ng isa't isa. Minsan, meron kami hindi pinagkakaunawaan. Pero, more on arguments siya. And hindi ko siya makakonsider na away. But, yung full-blown na away, I would say... It's honestly been a while. Before lang, I think, nung first year namin, selosa kasi ako. Tsaka malikot yung mata ni Dave. So, yun yung pinaka-pinag-aawayan namin. But then, right now, parang wala na masyados. From ZX Koy Dane, I wanna know if you ever wanna have kids, how many, and gender? <gasps> Good question! Honestly, I'm in the point of my life na iniisip ko pa kung gusto ko mag-anak. Like, yung ganun. I wanna be real. Like, hindi ako super keen sa bata. Like, I like kids, but I, I'm not super like, Oh, choo, 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 choo. Oh, choo, choo. Hindi ako pa ganun tao. I prefer dogs and cats than kids. Am I the only one, guys? Don't judge me. Uh, kids, I think I'm not even thinking about it right now. But if ever, if ever, maybe two or three is enough. Mix of both a girl and a boy. From Kate Miss Chaji T. Ayun, if ever na hindi ka YouTube creator right now, Ano ka? And I got so many questions about this. Sabi ko na sa inyo, dati pinangarap kong maging artista. Especially nung mga nakikita ko pa si Sarah Jeronimo. Little big star. Like, pinangarap ko maging ganun. Pinangarap ko pa at one point maging Kim Chu. Sumali sa TVB. Legit to, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, pinangarap ko talaga maging artista and masali sa TVB. As I grew older, I wanted to explore being a radio DJ. Especially dun sa favorite kong radio station, yung uh, Monster Radio RX 93.1. So, pinangarap ko yun. Like, pinapractice ko pa yun. Good old times, good old times. So, I might be a radio DJ. And another option is Atindera, an online seller. Kasi online seller ako bago ako naging YouTuber, guys, kung hindi nyo alam. And it's super close to my heart. And actually, until now, di ba, budulera pa rin ang ating yun. Probably a path I would dive into if I were not a YouTuber. Marami ba kayo na experience na struggles or problems lately? God bless po. Thank you so much, love. Um, It's not really problems even or struggles. It's parang, I just feel overwhelmed right now and Lately, na burn out talaga ako. Like, I felt the burn out. Kasi guys, first time ko to i-open up. Pero, sobrang thankful ko sa opportunities na meron ako. Especially right now. A one woman show ba tawag doon? Yung ako lang kasi lahat. Like, wala lamang tumutulong sa akin. I mean, in terms of work, ha? Ako nag-e-edit, ako nag-film. Like, ako kumakausap. Lately, na-realize ko that, Bish, this is really overwhelming. Like, yung plato ko, sobrang puno. Yun. Di ko alam paano yung English yun, pero yun. So, other than that, mentally, I really feel happy. Blessed. I got burnt out recently. Siguro Pero yun yung struggle ko lately. Yun. Struggle. It's a struggle, you guys. Burnout is real. Tama-tama, I got a couple of questions also regarding my hair because a lot of you napapansin na ang ganda talaga ng buho ko. It really looks healthy and shiny. A lot of you have been asking for my hair care routine. I did a video last year mentioning that I've been using Palmolive Expertique and I've been using the range, I think, three years or more. So, yun yung ginagamit ko. But recently, I actually sent over ito na nga yung Palmolive na micellar range. And ever since, ito na yung ginagamit Go to try and test it out. I also have been enjoying these pure moisture with natural rose oil. I have the shampoo and conditioner. Super easy breezy lang my hair care routine. Ko. I just start off with the shampoo and of course condition with the conditioner. But sometimes shampoo is even enough for me because these products really don't dry my hair out. And the best part is, like the name suggests, they're actually made with micellar technology. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about micellar because super popular ingredient niya sa micellar water in removing your makeup sa skin. Hair, so similarly with Palmolive Micellar, they use micellar technology. It really cleanses my hair but it's not drying at all. I was actually afraid at first na baka hala micellar, baka super drying out niya. Surprisingly, hindi siya drying at all. That's my favorite part. Ang bango-bango pa na to. Super love the scent. Everyday fresh and clean scent lang siya. So far, these products have been gentle pero nalilinis pa rin nila yung buhok ko and hindi rin mabilis magmantika yung buhok ko when I use these products. No parabens, no glutens. 
no dyes, no phthalates, and no silicones. So none of those harsh ingredients for your hair, but the micellar technology still captures dirt, pangkaklin siya ng hair, without stripping away your hair's natural moisture. So yeah, basically, this duo has no secrets also, and if you are looking for a worry-free routine, you can maybe give this a try. You Palmolive Micellar Shampoo and Palmolive Micellar Conditioner. If you guys are interested in these products, I'm gonna leave links on where you can purchase them in the description box below. Okay, next Next question from Serena Liza88. Sabi niya, do you get hate online and how do you handle hate comments? Now, this is a really good question. Nung nagsisimula pa lang ako sa YouTube, mas marami pa akong hate comments. Siguro di pa ako kilala ng mga tao, kaya they get the impression ng arte ko or whatever. Ngayon naman, I rarely get hate comments. I think because those who wanted to stick with me are really the people for me. Alam niyo yun. I think through the years, my audience has gotten to know me. Meron pa rin mga mangilan nila na ma minsan mga mema comments. Alam mo yun, yung mga ganun. Actually, hindi nila napapublish yung comments nila kasi pag may hate comments ang tao sa akin, first, hindi nakakayating sa child ko yun. I control my child, meaning subject for approval yung mga hate comments. So, bago sila mga comment, it's always subject to approval. I just read them and I'm like, Gumagano lang ako and then I just delete the comment for a couple of seconds. It's gonna get to me, but then I let it go fully and I don't really dwell on that. I don't want the hate comments to occupy me for the rest of the day. That's the best way, dahil walang control yung tao sa feelings mo. Let go, delete, and don't let it consume you. From Abby Louise, she asked, Ate, how do you define and seek for happiness? Before, I used to chase it. As in, parang hinahabol ko na parang, oh, dapat may ganito ako para maging equivalent siya na happy ako or dapat may na-achieve akong ganito para ma-equate ko na happy na ako. But happiness for me is when you are just content with what you have and you're not really... I mean, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong in wanting more but sometimes we keep on wanting more because we always equate wanting more to being happy. If I get to this level, I'm gonna be more happy but it's really not that. To me, happiness is being content with what you have, feeling blessed and thankful, being surrounded by the people who you value, and vice versa, people who value you as well. Happiness comes in literally the smallest of things. I can be broke and still be happy, you know what I mean? As long as I don't attach myself too much to the material things, and I know I'm sounding like a hypocrite, and di ko alam kung may pinupuntahan tong sinasabi ko. Bottom line is, happiness starts from appreciating what you have. Not so much chasing, not so much wanting to be happy, but the actual state of it, you can definitely achieve by just taking a pause, taking it all in appreciating what you have and realizing hey I'm blessed. Another life-related question. How do you handle life when it doesn't go the way you want it to be? A lot of times, hindi na plan out yung gusto kong mangyari sa buhay ko. We have so much plans and expectations for ourselves and for everything that evolves around us. Like, for example, ako, dati ginusto ko na at 25, dapat sobrang yaman ko na. At like 30, I, have, I should have a family. I realized by planning too much of what the future should be, the pressure is real. The pressure is so much more. Dapat wala namang ganong pressure. I'm creating all of these plans for myself na mas pressure lang ako. So I'm trying right now to just go with the flow and not plan too much. Iniisip ko na lang na kapag hindi nasusunod yung mga gusto kong mangyari sa buhay ko, okay lang. I mean, it's okay. Like, I don't really put so much pressure on myself and neither should you. If you feel like hindi nasusunod yung timelines na sinet niyo for yourself, please don't be hard on yourself. You are doing so good. Kung meron mang zigzag sa buhay natin, that is life. Okay guys, ang dami pang mga questions na gusto ko sagutin but I have to head out right now dahil may late na ako sa appointment ko. I need to book a grab na. Ang taking healing ko lang, sana bumaga yung buhok ko sa akin. Wish me luck, friends. Wish me luck. Thank you for being the best. Yan, ito yung pinag-aaway namin, ganyan siya kapag ganyan siya kapag pansin. Ganyan, ito lang pinag-aaway namin. Kasi lagi siya nag, walang isang... Hindi nalaway. Ha? Hindi mo nalaway. Ayan nga. Pero ayan, papansin. Papa, yan, papansin. Tag niyo jowa niyo papansin sa comments, guys. Seriously cramming this right now. We're on the way to Fendi. Si Fendi pala yung gagawa ng hair ko. Siya rin yung gumawa kay Rai. If I'm not mistaken, like, favorite siya ni Rai. But anyway, nahanap ko na meron pala akong Pinterest board sa mga hair pegs ko. Ang gusto ko lang ng mga highlights, ganun, para magkaroon siya ng dimension. Dim dimension? Yun, ganun. More of ganyan mga natural na highlights lang. Ayan, hindi ganyan eh. Parang may, gusto ko medyo may pagka-grayish. Ayan, perfect. So, um, I might go with these, yung mga ganyan. Ito. Ayan yung hair peg ko. This one's really nice din. Ganda. Hey guys, I'm here na sa Bianca Festejo. This is it. Wish me luck mga beshi. This is the last time. My hair is gonna be this. So, ganyan 
just highlights for now because I'm still scared. So something yeah. like this. Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> ugly now, guys. Ugly. As for <laughs> we can add some balayage in here. Okay. Something low maintenance. Mm -hmm, low maintenance. Dark roots, yeah. And there's no damage, even 1% your hands are look healthy after. But they, they damage your hair. Mm -hmm. And what's the difference is? So, slowly but slowly, surely. But slowly, but you know, like, I don't need hyper oxide. Trust me. Yes, Trust I the Trust the process. Trust the process. So, ito yung finished look ng buhok ko. And you guys, it honestly is better in person. It, honestly, I love it. Sobrang nagustuhan ko siya. Parang nagmukha siyang mamahalin lalo yung color. I think he did balayage on me. Hindi ko sure kung ano exactly yung ginawa sa akin. I would say it's almost like an ash blonde or ash gray or something like that. But keep in mind, this does fade. But I'm so in love with it. I think I'm gonna appreciate it more as the days go by. But right now, super, super happy ko. Look at those layers. Look at those freaking highlights. Babalikan quite tomorrow for the natural light um but i'm honestly super impressed you guys good morning you guys this is how my hair looks i want to give you an update on how my hair looks on natural light para mas ma-appreciate natin siya lahat kasi kahapon para wala ata akong maayos na clips with my hair during natural light by the way that's king z over here just Mm -hmm. It looks so much lighter in person, so much lighter kapag nasa natural light. Ito lang yung pinaka na-realize ko sa, sa bago kong hairstyle. Sobrang bagay ng mga baby pink. Nagumukha akong feeling Barbie, ganun. But yeah, this is how it looks like. By the way, naligo na ako kahapon ha. So, ayan, itsura niya. Bigyan ko lang kayo ng parang flip through. So, I'm gonna leave yung Instagram Fendi. If you guys wanna achieve the same hair color, feeling ko kasi kagabi parang ang dark na tingnan. So, I'm gonna give you guys a 360 degrees. Ito yung salikot, how it looks like. Sabi ni Fendi, trust the process, trust me. So, trinas ko na lang siya and this is the outcome. I think it it's so flattering. This is my new look, you guys! We're really having the glow obsession with my new hair. My new brows and also my eyelashes. I mean, confidence akong confidence, pero for sure, gumanda talaga ako kahit slight naman, di ba? Um, dun sa mga ginawa kong globe. Okay, alam ko hindi kayo sanay sa hair ko. Girl, ako din, hindi ako sanay sa kanya kasi parang medyo blonde na to, eh, di ba? Parang medyo, we're leaning towards the blonde. But anyway, guys, I wanted to unbox some packages from online shops and a couple of things I purchased also online. This is from Ava. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Let's unbox this. Um, it says, say hello to your new favorite. Super excited about these. I'm not sure if I can my heels, but these look to be a really comfortable pair and I love the color. Ayan, bagay siya sa buhok ko. Like, mm, super excited. But yeah, this is just their heels. It's chunky naman to kesa sa kitten heels, so kaya kaya ko to sa I cannot wear kitten heels kasi kasi feeling ko matatapilo ko anytime soon. Thank you so much again, Ava, for sending. I'm gonna link this shirt that I got. Ayan, it's so freaking pretty. I got it because of the. 
um, text. It says, better yourself. It's such a nice, like, reminder to better yourself every single day. And yeah, this is just a shirt. This one, I'm super excited. It's from Odori. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But yeah, it's from Odori Daily. This is perfect because you have essential oils. I think nila, it is a shelf. Oh, it's And it's, I thought it was the first one, parang magaan lang siya. Pero girly, hindi. As in, sobrang high quality niya. Ang ganda, pes. So, this is basically like a two-tier shelf. You can put your essential oils, some perfume. Baka essential oils nga ang ilag ilagay ko dito kasi ang ganda niya, pes. I got more stuff. Okay, first is this tote bag. It just says grocery. So, meron siyang spinach, carrots, broccoli. Cute color. Actually, dapat para sa summer ko siya gagamitin pero hindi na summer ngayon. Pero I love mga tote bags kasi talaga. Perfect for just errands day or even grocery days. I bought a mineral powder foundation for from Elana Mineral Cosmetics. This is in the shade French Vanilla. I want to retry their brand. Like, I want to try their mineral makeup. And mineral makeup, I think, maganda yung coverage. I've been into makeup lately. I wanted to buy new makeup for myself. Kasi, ewan ko, na-addict na naman ako mag-makeup lately. I think it was on 50% off sale. Also, I got the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is a mini size. And I just got it because I sometimes I don't want to conceal my under eyes. Hindi naman ganon ka dark yung under eye circles ko. But I still want to brighten them a little bit. I feel like this can be perfect for that. This mini is already 900 pesos. Pero um, nung nakita ko naman siya sa loob, parang feeling ko, hindi naman ganon kadami yung kakailanganin ko. So hopefully this works out for me. And then, I bought new brushes. I actually bought two new brush sets because... Like, I was using the same five brushes and medyo, I was getting bored. So, I had to purchase these. I'm gonna link every single thing. These are replica or dupes ng mga high-end brushes na available sa state. So, I wanted to find the best brush for cream bronzers because I recently bought a bunch of cream. Like, nahihilig talaga ako sa cream bronzer, cream blush, um, liquids, creams, ganon. I'll ko sila, guys. Super na-excite ako. First brush is this. It's like... An angled kind of foundation brush, but I feel like it's really dense. Not super dense, but dense enough. Um, meron naman siyang wiggle room kahit pa paano. I feel like this would be good for cream bronzer or even liquid foundation. And I like the angle kasi you can really get precise sa under eyes mo. This brush is a replica of the Pika So 721. Ayan. And yung maganda dito sa brushes na to, they don't feel like they're replicas. Like, they feel authentic. Alam mo yun, they got some weight to it. The bristles are really soft, like super impressive. So this one I'm gonna use as a blush brush. I think yung mga gantong brushes medyo mahal siya. So to find like dupes is really really nice. So this one's for contour, you know, or cream contour. Ito ako sobrang excited. Ito yung pinaka favorite ko sa lahat ng mga nabili ko. This is from the brand Sephora. But again, it's a replica. This is their Pro Diffuser 64. Ganda nung bristles niya. And sobrang na-excite ako dito for cream bronzer or even foundation or BB creams or base. But I feel like this is gonna be my favorite um, bronzer brush. Cream bronzer brush. The way it diffuses the product, I feel like it's gonna blend out cream bronzer perfectly. This is from MAC. And it's the 170. Looks really good, got some weight to it, feels really expensive. This one I might use specifically with my Alana. This is from Makeup Forever and it's just their like buffing brush. This one's really dense, so perfect for mineral makeup or for powder foundation and just like buff it onto your skin. It's gonna give you a really good like smooth out look. I'm so excited to play around with makeup as in gigil na yudila ko sa makeup lately. Oh my gosh, sobrang tutuwa ako. I miss ko talagang mag makeup and mag. Mmm, I just miss like applying color to my face and just beautifying myself and pampering myself. Ayun. 